So welcome to another episode of Jeff Smith's Garage. You can see all the stuff on the, on the dry erase board. Don't be afraid, don't be, it's, it's a little bit of math, but it's gonna be really fun and simple. We're gonna show you a simple way to estimate horsepower. Okay, so let's go through what all these numbers mean here. So for years I've been going out to West Tech Performance Group, that's my friends out in Mira Loma that do the dyno testing. And uh, for years I've been testing engines and Steve Brule, my buddy Steve would say, how much horsepower I think it's gonna make. And he would always be within a few horsepower of what my engine would make. And finally I asked him, and said, hey, you know, what's your secret? What's going on here? And he, he showed me what I'm about to show you. So I didn't make this up. This is Steve's little take on the whole thing, but it really works. So before we get into this, we need to talk about what the true horsepower equation looks like. So that's what this is here. Horsepower equals torque times RPM divided by 52.52. We're not gonna get into all the, all the niggly details about how you come up with 52.52. James Watt did all that with a horse pulling a mill around and just measured horsepower that way back in the, I think it was the 16 or 1700s. We're not gonna go through all those details, but if you have the torque number and the RPM, and you divide it by 52.52, you'll generate horsepower. You can also work backwards through this to figure out what torque is. We won't bother with that right now, but this is the classic horsepower equation. So up here now, our to estimate, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the displacement of the engine, the cubic inch displacement of the engine, times 1.25. Let me preface this by saying that this is aimed at street engines. So this would be 10, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half to one street engines with decent cylinder heads, a big carburetor, and good set of headers. Um, the number will, this number will move around significantly. We'll get into that a little bit later, but um, this is a good, nice round number that works really well for most street engines. Some of the LS stuff is a little bit more efficient, which means this number goes up. We'll get into that. So displacement times 1.25 will give you what the peak torque is. So to, to make this pretty simple, um, if we had a 400 displacement engine and we multiply it times 1.25, you're gonna end up with 500 foot-pounds of torque. So you would have a 400 cubic inch small block Chevy, for example, could make 500 foot-pounds of torque. Then the next step is you take that torque number times 0.9. So essentially what happens is what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the torque up to where the torque output for the peak RPM point at horsepower. Generally, engines lose 10% of, of torque between peak torque and peak horsepower. So that's where this 9 tenths number comes from. So that gives us our adjusted torque number. Then all we do, really, is apply this equation right here. So we have our adjusted torque number times the peak RPM point divided by 5252, and it'll give you horsepower. We'll run through an equation, an example, and show you how that works. Okay, so let's run through an example with a 400 cubic inch small block Chevy, for example. So we have 400 cubic inches times 1.25 equals 500 pound feet of torque. Now, we're gonna take our adjusted torque of 500, or our, that's actually our actual torque times 0.9, because we want our adjusted torque, that's gonna give us 450 pound-feet. Now we're going to apply essentially the horsepower equation. So we're going to take our peak RPM point, and we're going to estimate that at 6,000 RPM. So 6,000 times our adjusted torque of 450 divided by 5252. I have to use my calculator here so I get it right. 6,000 times 450 equals divided by 5252. That gives us 514. And that's the horsepower at 6,000. Not bad for a small block Chevy. So let's use a LS example. Before we get started, I wanna put something in here. These are all flywheel numbers. These are not rear wheel horsepower numbers, but flywheel numbers. So in the case of a LS motor, we just did a 404 cubic inch LS motor and uh, that motor made 559 for torque. Well, if we divide 559 by 404, we come up with 1.38 foot-pounds of torque per cubic inch. Okay, it should be pound-feet. So 
the number is going to move around. The LS motors are really good. Cylinder heads are outstanding. This motor was sealed up really well. So that's one reason. So it's a number that can float around, but that's where you can evaluate your engine. You can say, well, how much torque did I make? I know what my displacement is. Very quickly, I could come up with this number. And then if all you had was a torque number, you could figure out what your horsepower was going to be. Okay, so as you can see, this is pretty simple stuff. So it's a, it's a great way to evaluate your engine, great way to evaluate your buddy's engine. Sometimes you might see this like, hey, that motor didn't quite make as much power as it should. You know, uh, what's going on there? But uh, it, it adds a little next little thing to your knowledge of engines and how they make and why they make power. And you can also play around with the numbers a little bit. So, uh, so if you like what we see here at Just Miss Garage, remember to ring the bell and subscribe, tell your friends, and uh, we'll keep pumping out Just Miss Garage videos.